So hello back everyone. Uh, this is now the last session of today before the RAM session. And this session is about new uh, exciting results on the AES, new cryptanalytic results. So the first paper is called New Yo-Yo Tricks with AES-Based Permutation by Dimansa, Mostafizar Rahman and Gutam Paul. And Mostafizar will give the talk. Thanks for the, thanks for the introduction. Uh, what I am here to present today is a joint work with Diman Saha and Gautam Pal. Uh, it's New Yo Tricks with AES-based permutations. And uh, in this work, we have tried to devise distinguishers for AES-based uh, permutations. For this purpose, we have uh, chosen two AES-based permutations, uh, AES in the known key setting, and AES-based permutation ASK. Uh, this is a typical distinguishing setting where a distinguisher D tries to distinguish between uh, random, uniform random permutation and uh, a given permutation. So our uh, distinguisher will work in the adaptive chosen plane test and cyber test setting, and the uh, attacks will look similar, quite similar to the boomerang attacks. Uh, they are the plain text, uh, they are the, we are, we uh, will give some difference to the plain text and we'll uh, get uh, in the return pair some difference. So uh, these, uh, we choose the two plain text uh, with some difference alpha. Uh, there, there are some special ways to choose the alpha, which we'll discuss later in the slides. And we use round radius ciphers to encrypt them and get new pair of text C1, C2 uh, with given difference beta and uh, now we use the function mswap on c1 and c2 to obtain new pair of cipher text c1 dash and c2 dash and the relation between c1 and c2 dash is that uh, c1 dash the difference of c1 and c2 dash is equal to the difference of c1 and c2 and we uh, and this c1 and dash and c2 dash are decrypted using the round energy cipher and new pair of plain text are obtained now uh, we look into the matter where, uh, actually this work is done by Sondra Ranjom et al. in 2017. And they showed that there's a special relation between this alpha and delta. And um, there's the, they, uh, they found out that, uh, that the zero difference pattern between alpha and the delta is equal for, for two generic spin rounds. So uh, for the round radius ciphers, they used the two, uh, two generic spin rounds and they showed this result that for two generic spin rounds, the zero defense pattern of the P1 and P2 is equal to the zero defense pattern of P1 dash and P2 dash. This is the work, and uh, they generalized this work and uh, used this result to find the first key independent UO distinguisher of AES. And also, they, uh, they implemented this attack to find the uh, five round key recovery attack. So, how does the MSOF work? We have defined two things there the MSOF function and the zero defense pattern. Aims of work, um, there's the typical uh, AES super S box. So, which one? So, uh, the, in the upper part of the super S box, uh, these are the diagonals, and uh, the, the diagonals are the super S box parts. So, if we want to implement the uh, implement the super uh, MSOF function on the upper parts. So what we'll do, we will swap according to the diagonals. So there are uh, four diagonals, and uh, in total there are 14 combinations of the swapping functions. And if we want to swap according to the, in the last layer of the super S box, we'll uh, swap according to the inverse diagonals. And here also there are 14 combinations of the, of the swap functions. And this is the example of the swap, how the swap works. There are two AES states. And after the swap, there's only one diagonal was swapped between them, and this the new states became. This is how the swap function works. And the zero defense pattern is uh, we just draw two plain text and see whether some of the super S boxes are active or not. If the super S box is active, we denote it by zero, and otherwise it is one. So for, for, for this particular case, the ZDP becomes zero one 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 one, and the weight is you know, weight is the number of inactive super S boxes. In the in the difference, so the uh, the UOM, uh, UOM game basically works with choosing new pairs of plain, uh, plain text and cipher text, and these are made adaptively. And while making these new pairs of text, a certain property is kept in, uh, invariant. And at the end of the game, we uh, we see that whether we verify that whether the, the that property is satisfied or not. So. Uh, 
this work is basically done by Sonia Rajan Madam. We we exploited their work and uh, further extended the results. So our target is here uh, ask uh, ask permutation, which is best permutation, and the AES in the known key setting. Uh, this is the ask permutation two round. Uh, there, you can see there, there are four AES states. Each of the states goes through two rounds of AES rounds, and after that, there is a permutation. And in the original ask, uh, these steps are repeated 10 times. So there are 20 rounds in total. And uh, to penetrate, uh, to implement the SLS design, uh, SLS work of the UO game, we have to first uh, identify the super S boxes or some other nonlinear, nonlinear. Uh, construction in these results, in these works. So first we have identified the super S box in the ask. We can see that uh, this is the similar to the uh, AES super S box. And uh, there are 16 super S boxes in this result. So uh, now we can use the SLS, uh, your game on the SLS work in this uh, result directly. And this is the mega box of AES uh, ask, which was given by the designers themselves. It covers 3.5 rounds and the, like, the super box also starts from the event rounds, like and, and the mega box also starts from the event round. And uh, in the last round, the mix column is omitted. Now the uh, the first uh, result, uh, which is the direct implementation of the EOO, EOO result. So first, uh, the four in the four mega boxes. It, it starts from the round two. So uh, there are three point five rounds. The mix columns completes the fourth round, and after that, again, 3.5 rounds of Mega X boxes. So in total, there are eight rounds, and it starts from the event round. That is, uh, that's why it is the two, uh, two to nine, as two to nine. And in this, uh, we can uh, directly implement the result of the EO, EO paper. So for uh, extending those results, uh, which are uh, which are already implemented in EO game, we look into the into the into the further into the super S boxes itself. So, uh, like uh, like previous, where uh, where, the, where only the super S boxes are denoted, whether they are active or, or inactive, we further look into the super S box itself and denote that uh, whether each of the bytes in the super S box are active or not uh, active. So, for the first super S box, it's all bytes are active. So, so new square alpha zero is zero, and see the last super S box that is alpha three. Only one byte is active, so they, and the, so its value is zero one one one. So our first strategy uh, to extend the game is prepend append strategy. So what we have done? This is the classical yo game, and uh, this is the dis deterministic distinguisher, and uh, because new of beta equals to new of eta uh, with probability one. Now to uh, prepend, we have uh, added one round to it. We have some round uh, prepend some round with probability uh, with probability p, and uh, and same rounds are added at the end of the game with probabilities uh, with some probability. So alpha to delta now will not be a deterministic distinguisher. It will come with some probability. And uh, we have implemented this uh, for the we have implemented this for the ask nine round starting from round one. So what we have down, uh, what we have down here, uh, we have uh, for the first part, we have chosen four. We have activate only one super S box, and uh, uh, there are only four bytes. And after the one round, because there are the shift rows and mix column with probability to the minus 22, it will become four to uh, four to one property will come, and only one super S box uh, will be, only one byte will be active in in beta. That means on one mega X box get active in beta. So in eta, in it, uh, there will be one mega X box active. And uh, that means there are 16 bytes in each mega X box. One uh, with some probability, one of the bytes will get uh, inact will be inactive in eta. And which in turn, in delta, make four bytes inactive. This is uh, an example of the, this result. There are four bytes which uh, we in alpha which are active. After four to, uh, after first round, those uh, due to the property of mixed column, one byte gets active with probability two to the minus twenty two, and due to the EO game, uh, there are six, uh, the one mega X box active here, 
and uh, with some probability we get one byte inactive in the active mega x box which in turn uh, in the delta gives us four byte free bytes so uh, next our strategy is composing impossible differential with the yo yo game for this we have used the uh, we have used the inverted yo the, like the previous yo yo we can uh, play the yo game in both direction here we will use the inverted one so in this uh, we have first used the inverted yo game and uh, then we have append a linear layer and after that we have attended is uh, appended a s dash layer here s dash can be a sub uh, so, uh, s box uh, super s box or mega x box anything it can be and uh, after that we get beta and we try to impose uh, impossibility condition of beta based on alpha and we have applied this result on uh, we have applied this result to found the six round aes distinguisher and as distinguisher for 9 10 and 12 rounds this is the impossible differential for six round aes so uh, here the sls in the sls construction s means on super s box so SLS composed the 3.5 rounds in the left side. So 3.5 rounds and L means they had the mixed column and after that again 1.5 rounds. In total it makes six rounds without the last mixed column. So it starts in alpha we make one super S box active. So in gamma there will be one super S box active. So that means that in each column there are one byte active at least. And one, there will be one byte active. So after mix column, all the four bytes will get active in the in one column, which in turn will activate all the super S boxes. So in delta, in for the AES case, we'll have never the never the case that we'll get an uh, inactive super S box. This is the impossibility condition, and this is how the AES six round distinguisher is devised. For uh, us. Uh, the same thing is done. We have used the previous result of us two to nine, and uh, after appending the linear layer, that is the MMC mega mix column layer, for ten round we have appended uh, simply the S box to extend one round. For the eleven round we have ex uh, we have appended the super S boxes to uh, extend two rounds, and for the thirteen rounds we have appended mega X boxes to uh, to extend four more rounds. And these are all the same conditions like uh, impossibility conditions. Now the last one is the bidirectional yo-yo game. Uh, here we have used two yo-yo game and those are, uh, those are added by the linear layer. So this is the first inverted yo-yo game. And then we have appended a linear layer. And after that we have used another, uh, another yo-yo game. Now we start from alpha, uh, we, took, uh, we start from alpha, get the delta and try to impose uh, impossible condition on delta based on alpha. Uh, for, uh, we have used the strategy to find the first, uh, we have used the strategy to find distinguisher for eight round AES and 16 round ASK. So these are the distinguishers. So what happened here? In the AES case, again, we start with uh, one super S box active and in, in, in alpha, in eta we get one super S box active so there will be one uh, one active bytes in each column. So after mix column, all the four bytes will be active in each column, which in turn makes all the super S boxes active. So in delta, all the super S box will be active for uh, the AES. So in AES, we'll never have the we'll never get uh, inactive super S box. In the us case, we what we get we uh, we are using uh, instead of super S boxes, we are using mega X boxes. So in alpha, we are activating one only one mega X box, which in turn uh, in eta will activate only one mega X box due to the yo yo game. So in delta, due to the mix column, all the four bytes of a column will be active. So uh, this activates all the four mega X boxes. So in delta, all the four mega X boxes will be active. And uh, this is the impossible, con uh, the impossible condition is that in delta, we'll never have an uh, inactive mega X box. Uh, this, these are the distinguishers on us, and uh, our work reports the first uh, nine round distinguisher starting from round one. We have also reported the eight round uh, eight, uh, deterministic distinguishers, 
and all other our all other distinguishers are using uh, negligible memory very these are the eight round neon key distinguishers and again uh, due to the bidirectional yo game we are using very negligible memory and these are the dis distinguishers which are reported in this work in total we have uh, we have reported eight distinguishers of which six are related to ask and two are related to aes and all of the distinguishers are using negligible memory so uh, we have so new ways to extend the yo game we have composed classical differentials and impossible differentials with the yo yo game and also we have composed two yo yo games to show the bidirectional yo yo game and our uh, our technique can be used uh, for the public computations and uh, using these techniques we have uh, so far achieved the best results for ask and we have also shown known a new known key distinguisher for aes and all the practical distinguishers that have been uh, reported in our work have been practically uh, verified thank you So we have time for some questions. Okay, I have a question. Um, so when you look at uh, AESQ, uh, do you think you could uh, improve its security by modifying the mixing layer, where you, the wire mixing in between the AES rounds? Is it a weakness that you exploit in your attack, or is it uh, optimal? I mean, could you make AESQ stronger? by changing this mixing layer? Uh, no, we have not looked into that till now, okay. but we'll certainly look into that. Okay. Mm, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.